Hi, for a second time today. And there's a good reason for that. Things have changed a bit. I have to pause the video here for a quick moment. In the video, I remembered a number incorrectly. I'll make the corrections in text on the screen as I won't have time to reform this. I'm going to do a quick update because uh, the numbers didn't make too much sense this morning. Uh, I figured out why it didn't make my, too much sense. Uh, some of the predictions they used wrong. Uh, they didn't adjust the inputs from the estimate input to the actual input. And that gives you a, yeah, a wrong pred prediction. And I wrote it all down because it's one thing to read and remember the numbers. It's a completely different thing to read the numbers, realize something doesn't look right. And then uh, remember all the adjustments that necessary for those numbers. Anyway, let's start with uh, our markings. Uh, there's a small difference. It's raised about another 10 centimeters from uh, this morning. So it's about 800 above the, uh, the river level now. And I think from tomorrow, we're going to see a faster raise. But let's just look at what's happening on the river. The Vaal Dam inflow has uh, peaked and started dropping. It's uh, 1,500 cubic now. The dam is at 109 percent, with the outflow of 1,200 cubic. The inflow into Bloemhof, that's very high. That's where one of the big differences are. The Bloemhof Dam inflows 2,800 cubic. They changed initially. Two videos ago, I said the prediction is 118 percent. That was actually correct. Then it changed yesterday to 112%. That didn't make sense. The prediction is back up to 118% because they, they adjusted the intake to the actual values. The current outflow is 2,200 cubic or going to be adjusted today to 2,200 cubic. But I received a message that uh, Bloomhof Dam is going to let out 2,600 cubic. Well, that's a lot more water. It's not happened yet, but that's what they said is going to happen. Add to that 2,600, the 560 cubic that's flowing uh, down the Ritter, uh, the Ritter River below the uh, Lumov Dam. That gives you a 3,160 cubic flow from the Waal River, Waal River alone. Then uh, Garip is at 115% and that's going to stabilize now. The inflow into the Garip has dropped to 2,600 cubic. The outflow is 2,000 cubic, that will pick up slightly. So the inflow to Van der Kloof is 2,000. Van der Kloof is at 106% and that forecast is now 110%. So it's going to go up in the next two to three days to 110%. The current outflow is a thousand cubic. That'll probably be up to um, I don't know, thousand two hundred. I didn't give an actual number, but I'm just thinking about what I've seen previously. So if you combine that three thousand one hundred sixty with a thousand, that's already four thousand one hundred cubic. Now, depending on whether the peaks hit, hit each other. That means on the Orange River we're looking at 4,000 to 4,200 cubic. For comparison, earlier this year the last flood was 3,800 cubic, so that's quite a bit more. Height-wise around here we won't see much of a difference, but uh, the flow will be faster. And the thing is, higher upstream, a lot of levees would just manage to uh, hold out the last flood, so that's not too good. Uh, anyways, that's the update for now. I don't think I'm going to be able to do one tomorrow. We're starting with a harvest and we're working 12, 14 hours a day again. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll see if I can do a check on it lunchtime. Otherwise, tomorrow afternoon. And uh, I'll keep you updated as things change. Anyway, see you on the next one.
Cheers.